they wouldn't let the black comedians perform. Only, right. only the only the top tier comedians yeah, perform yeah, every yeah, day yeah. of the week. Got you. And I right. was one of those guys. M- m- me, wow. on, yeah. See, I would perform in there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Me, uh, uh, George Wallace, people like that. And uh, when those guys came, oh, I'm getting ready to go up, guys. Y'all gonna get right, go, ahead, right, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get hyped. Yeah, Ladies and put your hands together. Put your hands together. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, you got to you love Please uh, and never leave her. Uh. You got to, got to, got to, got to, got to. Oh, yeah. Give it up for Mr. Evan McCoy. Yeah, woo! All the way. Oh, my God. Hey, welcome to Crossbars, the podcast where we discuss interesting topics while turning in perspective. I am your co-host, Big O. Have with me. Hey, Jason A's in the building with our legendary guest star comedian slash actor slash slash slash. Right. Give it up for Mr. James Stephen III. Absolutely. Yo, what's up, absolutely. What's up? <laughs> all right. All right. Mr. James Stevens. Now, some people may not know who you are, what you do. Now, I do because one. You were legendary. You were part of that um, iconic uh, death comedy jam. The the first right. one with uh, you know with uh, Martin Lawrence was there. You that's know? right, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, right. I like to say the original one with Martin Lawrence. The original. Um, that, you know, that's they, the real they, deal. They the, yeah, that's the real, real one. But <laughs> before we get into that, let's start off with the just groundbreaking stuff. You were where are you originally from? I, I'm original. I was born in, in Carolina, and then I. And then I was, uh, my dad died when I was like eight, I was adopted. So I was like lived in, uh, I was on the East Coast, on the West Coast, uh, Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. So North Carolina, where about? Cause I'm in Charlotte right now. Oh, South Carolina, South Carolina. Myrtle, Myrtle Beach. I was, Myrtle, Myrtle Beach. Beach. Okay, all right. So, so now- I was born about, I was born about uh, say an hour and 15 minutes away from here. Cause you about uh, in a small town called Dillon. I know where Dillon, South Carolina is. That's right, Darius Lennon. Yeah, 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 Dillon, South Carolina. Yeah, I got That's you. Right. Look, look, yeah. look, look. You know where Monk's Corner at? I know Monk's Corner, right? Oh, up okay. There. St. Stevens. Look, I'm going to walk you into it. St. Stevens? Yes. I got oh, you. Okay. All right. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got some in law my people's down there. Alvin, Alvin, South yeah. Carolina. Shout all out right, to, right. to the community yeah, yeah. of Alvin. Absolutely. But, you know, you, you're from North Carolina. Your, uh, your father passed, and then you moved to Seattle. How was it like for you living in Seattle as a child? Seattle was just a lot of white folk. A lot of white folk, you know what I'm saying? So I was raised around a lot of white people. So okay. that's why, I like, yeah, like, so a lot of comics be like, yo, man, why you be talking white? You know what I'm saying? They used to say I talk like I was white because I ain't go, yo, motherfuckers. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I say this on y'all podcast? <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, okay, you can. Good. However, yo, <laughs> yeah, oh, however, you said it already. <laughs> you know I, did, I did, I did, I did, I did. No, no, man. You know, like when I was on Def Camp Comedy, because I was in Seattle, right? In mm-hmm. Seattle, all the comedians were like, yo, you got to do this way. You got to do comedy that right. way, certain things. Right. And so so I did comedy. You know, my, my, my comedy was really sort of white bread in the beginning, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and then I started working around the country. And then I moved to Los Angeles and everything changed. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, gotcha. All right. So gotcha. growing up, we went to schools in Seattle. Were you like one of the kids that was into the grunge and uh, and depressing music and stuff like that? Yeah, the grunge came out like, yo, grunge came out like, I think it was like, uh, late 80s, early, early 90s, early 90s or something yeah. like that. Yeah, and everybody was like killing themselves and all that, you know, in Seattle. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't no. know, man. They said people kill themselves because it rained. It rained a lot out there. Yeah, because yeah, so yeah, they said that. Yeah, yeah. It's it, 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 like the black folk out there, man, they, they live in large, but they don't think they live in large because they watch the TV and they and they think they're oppressed. Because like, the white folk out there actually like black people. You know what I'm saying? Like wow. you saw, you saw, gotcha. yeah, you, they love, they love black people out there, man. Cause they never see, seen a lot of us. Historically, a lot of us from slavery, we left from like down South and went through the underground railroad, that type of thing. And there was a, right. there was like, they would get on the ships in New Orleans and then go out to Seattle, Washington and we worked on ships and stuff like that. So black folk, it was, a, it's not a lot of black folk out there, 
and they like they really love black folk. It's different than the East Coast. It's different history, bro. Yeah, okay. they're that's, more racist toward the Indians than they are black people. Good, mm. racist. That's yeah. awkward. <laughs> yeah, okay. so just yeah. letting you know. No, I so, so, so there's yeah. a lot of pimps out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, man. I'm serious. I'm just like, you know, a lot, lot of pimps, a lot of, lot of pimps out there, a lot of pimps. Well, more pimps when I was younger. Oh, you go to Vancouver because you drive, Canada was 129 miles away. None oh, but wow. pimps. 